1980 commuter car, and uh, I rebuilt it this past year um, with help from Mike and uh, my teacher, Mr. Connors, and my dad. Um, my teacher uh, originally owned this car. Um, he had bought it from the uh, New England Auto uh, Association, um, and uh, he bought it from them. Um, they had gotten it um, donated from the Framingham School Department. He showed me the project. I had been wanting to um, do a car project for a long time, and uh, he showed me the car, got me interested into alternative energy, and uh, just um, that's the way the project went. I uh, started to rebuild it um, about March. And we used uh, the engineering um, design process um, to just solve problems. The car was uh, given to basically given to us as a project. Um, and uh, we looked at a lot of other projects. It was the most equitable one. Um, it was very like cheap, fun. seemed like fun, and uh, it also um, like definitely is, reduces the amount of greenhouse gases. Um, then I additionally went to the Solar Fest this summer um, and had a lot of fun at that um, festival. And uh, finally, by this time, I had. Um, rebuilt the car enough to be able to show it off. Um, I had actually driven in the 4th of July parade at, um, at Duxbury, and, uh, which is a pretty popular parade. And we made it all the way through past a uh, Model T on the way up a hill. Um, it was broken down. And, and Mike, how are you involved in this? Are you a classmate? Um, yeah, I'm a classmate, and I'm just generally helping him out. Um, I thought it was an interesting project, so I thought I'd contribute. The car runs on eight six-volt regular car batteries like you'd find in a golf cart. Right now, we only have got four in here. It uh, has three stages of acceleration. When you, when you pr press the pedal down, it clicks three times. The first click, it'll run these four batteries through a resistor straight to the, um, to the motor. And then the second click, it'll run just these four batteries with no resistor to the motor. And then third click is all eight batteries. So it's not really that smooth of acceleration. It, it'll just kind of, you know, slow a little faster and then fastest. But um, we've got the 12-volt uh, <laughs> battery that controls um, or powers all the lights on the dashboard along with the running lights. The next thing down is the vent, which is the heat for the car, um, which is doesn't really work that well because, as everyone knows, electric motors don't produce much heat, and what the vent is doing is it's bringing air across the motor through the vent and through your, into your feet. The two components under the, the passenger seat are the two controllers for the motor, um, as you push down the pedal, they click. It's a three-stage controller. Excuse me, is, are those relays or contactors? Uh, they're contactors. And um, so as you push it down, it sends it and it contacts the wires that either go through the resistor that come from both packs of the batteries. Um, and then the motor um, is all the way down there. It's a GE six-horsepower motor. You can uh, look down right through there and uh, you can just barely see the motor. Um, the front end, co coming off the front end of the motor is uh, where the speedometer hitches up to the motor. 